So I've driven that Toyota 100,000 miles. It's never let me down. It's the first time I've had to get it picked up to tow, but it's only because there's something wrong with my third member and that's from a T100. It's not even the original axle off that Toyota. So, you know, it's probably gonna be a couple grand, but I'm not mad because Toyotas are still the best. Eight days later. A little more room to go under there. So, I wanted to make a quick video talking about axles. Cause I just spent $2,400. What? <laughs> what an idiot. Oh, what a loser. Getting mine fixed and people can avoid it. So basically I swapped a Tundra axle onto this uh, five or six years ago when I was long traveling on a whole rear and I took the leaf springs um, You can see where the old spot is. I didn't even cut it off all the way, but basically went outside the frame rail Put my shocks outside the frame rail and with its stock Tacoma axle Your tire is gonna hit the shock Unless you have a wheel spacer even then depending on your setup You're probably gonna hit your shock. So in order to avoid that you get a Tundra axle now, what I messed up on when I did this is I trust the Tundra axle. Now, I had bought in a truss that was actually for a T100, so it didn't fit perfectly. I tried to modify it, so I kept this centerpiece, did tubing off of it, just really ghetto, honestly. But what I didn't know, or I knew that welding would warp, right? When you weld things, they move, they bend, they shrink. But I didn't realize how much this would actually uh, you know warp out so I didn't make a jig or fixture or anything on when I when I welded on it So it caused the whole axle to bend now the bend wasn't very noticeable. It was pretty slight So over time my axle seals just kept leaking so you'd get like oil and gear oil coming out of there And it was just a mess So basically I got a nice axle now after spending two thousand and four hundred dollars um, because I basically had to replace everything. The third member, I was missing some teeth on my ring and pinion gear. Um, the axle seals, so like basically the shaft goes into the axle housing. The, all the bearings and seals on that end were destroyed. Um, same with this end. So I replaced all of those. Um, she's good now, but it's just one of those things. So when you're welding on your axles especially, be sure that you... Uh, you know, you either build some sort of jig to hold it in place so that you're not warping it um, because everything needs to be pretty straight on an axle because the axles are spinning, everything's spinning. Um, so just something to know. Um, T100 axle, Tundra axle, it's it's a great mod for, for the Tacoma because you got the bigger gears, it'll be a little bit wider um, to match the front long travel kit, which is a three and a half over. And then I believe the Tundra axle is at three inches over, but not even full droop, but I wanted to jack it up so I had some room. But 